Managing Facebook leads can be time consuming and all too often, you're targeting the wrong people. Unfortunately, we know you have to run campaign after campaign in order to find the right people. Well, not anymore with Zapier. With the Facebook conversions integration, you can automatically transfer your high value lead data from your campaigns directly back into Facebook, providing you with the upper hand and saving both time and money spent on those campaigns, making your marketing efforts more effective, efficient, and rewarding. Hey there, I'm Alex Knowles from automationhelpers.com and we help companies like yours get automated using leading industry tools to build apps, integrations, automations, and more. In this video, I'll show you how to automate events using your Facebook leads, but I'll take it a step further than the usual automated lead response. We are going to optimize your ad targeting by feeding valuable lead conversion data from your Facebook lead ads directly back into your Facebook campaigns. We've learned who we should target. Now we'll create an automated workflow to tell Facebook. Of course, we'll set up to notify your sales team as well and add a new contact to your CRM system. Now we'll be using Zapier to set up this powerful marketing automation, but you might be wondering, what is Zapier? Well, it's an automation tool that enables you to connect your favorite apps, allowing you to set things on autopilot without the need for any coding. Here's the dashboard. And from here, you can create your automated workflows or zaps. Now you can use a template to quickly set up some popular automated flows or prompt Zapier's Copilot AI to create a zap for you. Let's just ask it to connect our Facebook lead ads to our Facebook conversions. And it begins to work its magic. And there we go. We see that it has suggested we have the new lead, Facebook lead ads, and then send funnel event, Facebook conversion. So we can jump in there and start building from that AI generated template, but let's just create from scratch so you can get an understanding of how this platform works. So we'll select Zaps, and then we're going to need, again, we can use Copilot or AI to be able to begin the build, but let's just do it the old school way. So we've got the trigger, which enables you to select the trigger event, and this will be what kicks off this automated workflow. We know for this example, it's going to be a lead in our Facebook lead ads form or our Facebook lead ads campaign. So you want to select the trigger and then search for the app you're going to use. I'll select Facebook lead ads. Now do know that you'll need to have a pro Zapier plan in order to set this up, but trust me, it is so worth it. So we'll need to select the trigger event as we know, which is going to be a new lead in our Facebook lead ads. And you'll need to connect your Facebook account here. This will differ from connecting your Facebook conversions ad campaign manager account in the future. So once you're connected, you'll then want to select continue and we can configure which particular page or Facebook page and form within our Facebook lead ads we are collecting that data from. So you want to run a test in order to pull through some data so you can then begin mapping data from your Facebook lead ads to your other platforms. So you want to test the trigger and then that's gonna pull in the most recent or the latest submission of your Facebook lead ads form. So here we've got lead ad A. Let's continue with that record. Next, let's take a look at notifying our sales team. So I use Slack with my sales team. So we'll search for Slack and we'll need to connect our account. Okay, we've connected our Slack account. Now we need to select the action event. And as you can see, there's many, but I want to send a message to my sales channel. So I'll find, where are we? Send channel message and then continue. Now it's time for us to configure the message sent to Slack. And we'll want to use data from the Facebook lead ad so our team are prepared with all the details and info they need. So channel, I'll select my sales channel. There we go. Then I'm going to input, hey guys, a new lead has come through and we'll pull in the lead data. We'll just quickly pull in the name and the full name and the lead ID. Now you want to go further into detail on this, but I'm just quickly showing you for this example. Now you will want to run a test on your automated workflow thus far to ensure that your data is 
being correctly connected. And as we can see here, if I jump into Slack, hey guys, a new lead has come through. Obviously, that's pretty messy as things go right now, but we know it works. From here, let's jump on to the next step, which is going to be adding the lead to your CRM system. Now, we've taken a look at setting up a step, so we should be able to do this pretty easily. I'll use HubSpot as my CRM. So you'll want to select the action event. Now, as you can see, we've got plenty of options, but I just want to create a contact simply. Make sure your HubSpot account is connected or whichever CRM you choose to use. And now we need to map our Facebook leads ads data over to our CRM. So I'm just going to quickly input some details here. Company name, I'll skip these, but you'll want to include as much info as you can. Um, the email we're aware of. So I'll just quickly pull in the email from the lead and let's just do their name. Uh, we'll go full name for first name, just for this example, guys. Then we'll go continue. And again, you'll want to run a test on this step to ensure that your data is correctly connected and everything's working as it should. It's always good practice to test your automated flow as you build on top of it because you don't want to get to the end, run a test on the workflow and then see issues everywhere. So I'll skip this test and we'll just quickly take a look at sending an automated email to the lead. Now, what we can do is actually delay this email to give it a more real professional and personal feel. So we're gonna use the delay function or the delay by Zapier function here. We'll select it. And then we have the option, we know we want to delay. We have the option to delay after a queue, wait for a certain set of time or wait until a specific date and time. I'll just go delay four because this is easy and simple. First, we'll want to input the value. So we'll go 30 and then the time delayed for. There we'll go minutes. And you can see you have the option for minutes, hours, days, and weeks. So this automated workflow knows that, hey, we'll quickly skip that test. When someone reaches out to us on Facebook lead ads, then delay for 30 minutes and send them the automated response email. Of course, we'll actually need to create the email. So find your email provider. For this example, we just quickly look at the action event. We want to send an email, of course. So once you have connected your email, then again, you'll want to continue and configure how the automated step works. So we'll need to include the to or the email of our lead. So we'll just quickly breeze through this. You want to include a subject, of course, and personalize it. Hi, let's go. Welcome and welcome to the game. So it looks like we are missing a field. Nope, we've got it, so we'll go continue. And then we'll just quickly test this step so that we're not testing at the end of our automated workflow. As we can see, it's worked perfectly. So now onto the last step. And this is the real game changer in this workflow. Feeding your lead conversion data from Facebook lead ads directly back into your Facebook campaigns. Optimizing your future campaigns, saving you both time and money. So let me walk you through how to set this up. You'll need to add a step and search for Facebook conversions. Now, depending on what level of access you have will determine which of these two you select for business admins or just the general. I'm gonna go with just the general as I'm the owner of my account. So here, of course, you'll need to first connect your ad campaigns account to this as this Facebook account differs from the one you connected to your Facebook lead ad. So once you've done that, then it's time to select the action event. And I'll quickly talk on these because we have a few different options here. We've got the send funnel, lead, other, and purchase event. The send funnel event tracks users progress through stages of conversion, like entering their name or moving from viewing a product to making a purchase. The lead event captures when a user submits their details or contact information into your form or lead ads form. The purchase event, well, that's when someone purchases your product or service. And the other event covers any additional actions you want to track like downloads or specific user interactions. Now, I'm sure you've got these set up in your Facebook ads campaign manager. So I'm just simply gonna go forward with the send lead event. And then it's gonna be time for us to set this up. Now, an action source in Facebook conversions refers to where a specific action or event occurred. So I'm just gonna go with website because this is through Facebook. Then I'll select the business account I need to feed this data into. 
Now it's time for us to map our Facebook lead ads data to our Facebook conversion. So we'll start with the event time. So we can add our field mappings here. It'll be created time. So pull that in, the event ID. Well, that's just gonna be the, let's see, I believe that'll just be the lead ID. Then the event source URL, which I'm just gonna input the form ID, which is the form in my Facebook lead ads. Test event code, I'll leave that. Opt out of ads delivery optimization. Now this next step is pretty important. This is where you decide if you want Facebook to run your ads automatically or if you would like to manually take control. Now I personally always prefer to run my Facebook manually, so you'll need to select a value for opt out of ad delivery. False telling Facebook you wanna opt out and you wanna look after who you're targeting and true to tell Facebook, hey, you go ahead and you do what you think works. So we'll go with false and continue. Now the data processing options allows you to choose how user data is collected, processed, and utilized in your advertising efforts. I'll leave a link to Facebook's data processing helpful resources in the description of this video so you can better understand how this affects your data and your workflows. Now I'm no whiz on the subject, but setting these options will help maintain data integrity, comply with legal requirements, and align your business's strategy and handling practices. Now let's move on and begin mapping the rest of our lead data to Facebook conversions. Now I've only included a few questions in my Facebook lead ads form, but as you can see, there's plenty of data that you could be using. So I'm just gonna quickly map those values I will be grabbing. We've got email there and we'll just quickly use the full name. Okay, then we've got external ID, Facebook lead ID. This is very important. We'll just search for ID. And where's our lead ID? Pull that in there. Okay, now we've also got the custom ID, which again, I'm just gonna pull in the form ID for this. And I'll ignore the content name and content category. Now you can go into this as deeply as you want, and I do recommend you do so. Now, if you've got any specific valuable gold data that you wanna include and share with your Facebook conversions, this is where to do it. You can create your own fields within your Facebook ads Manager, so we'll just quickly input, the additional data will be, for example, favorite color, let's go with that. And the data would be you pulling in the question that specifically asks this. The last step is to run a test on your entire automated workflow to make sure that all the pieces connect together and your data from your Facebook lead ads is correctly being sent over to your Facebook ads manager. Now this automated workflow is going to transform your Facebook ad campaigns into conversion engines, sharing the data of those who actually engage with your product or services so that you can optimize your future ad targetings, save money, save time, and save the need for multiple campaigns in order to find your target audience. If you need help automating parts of your business, like your lead management, don't hesitate to reach out to us today at automationhelpers.com. We offer a free 30-minute booking consultation. So, book yours today.